I fucking love that Doom sound so much. Like the opening riffs. Yeah. Hello everybody and welcome. You are listening to the sounds of my childhood. That's right. Sit back, relax, let me tell you a story about an eight-year-old having a meltdown <laughs> in a Costco led me to getting the shareware version of what became one of my favorite series ever. Thank you everybody for watching. This is Craig from Nine Volt Games and today we are gonna talk about Doom. Now I'm far too old to remember the exact month, but late in 1993, my family and I were at Costco because we had a large family, so we used to buy everything in bulk. And we were up checking out and they had turnstiles in the front with uh, 3.5 floppy disks. And my mom said that we could pick one out because we had just got a new uh, IBM Aptiva, I believe. And uh, I don't know if it was IBM Aptiva, but regardless, she said pick one game. So we picked one game and my sister picked Who Goes House of Horrors. Now that's a story for a different day. I really enjoy that series, but I was like, that's not fair. I didn't have any say. How come we got to pick this game? I don't want to play this game. I want to, I want a Doom, right? And they only had the shareware version of Doom, which I can't believe they were selling, by the way. And it only had Knee Deep in the Shores of Hell. I know those eight fucking maps like the back of my hand because the shareware disc in Knee Deep, uh, Knee Deep in the Dead was the only, the only thing I got to play until Doom 2 came out. So then when Doom 2 came out in 1995, my Uncle Mike down the road, he, uh, <laughs> He worked for the state, some high-end tech job, and this was in the early 90s, so he was at the top end of everything, and he had Doom 2. He had a bunch of other PC stuff, but he's the guy who got me into PC gaming back in the day, and he let me borrow Doom 2, and then I let him borrow a game called Silent Steel. I know I, I've told this story before, so I'll, I'll keep it brief, but I ended up playing Doom 2 so much, and I was telling my wife, I actually used to play it with, a, with an old Microsoft Flight Stick, which is a tr truly amazing. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to fast forward fucking 10 years later. So 2005, I am living on my own. So 2005, I'm almost 20. And, uh, doom, fuck, I'm old. And Doom 3 is about to come out on Xbox. Now, I live with my buddy Sean. We, we live in the worst one-bedroom apart you, you've ever seen where, you know, my bedroom was the living room. When Doom 3 came out, we both took three days off of work. We, mold, we moved both TVs into our living room. And then we ended up playing team doubles on Doom for three days straight. We were in the top three. And then as soon as we went back to work, that shit just fell apart because we couldn't keep up with it. But the thing is, when I tell people the stories about Doom 3, I never really talk about the single player that much. So let's talk about that. So the reason that you are seeing the older Dooms being played in the background with the sweet, sweet sounds of the early 90s is because um, Doom Dark Ages, I believe, I know Hugo Martin hasn't really made an official connection between all the games. It's kind of just like in the spirit of, but let's really talk about the old games because the Dark Ages gives me the feel of the old games. And I know people are like, you just saw trailers, whatever. No, the, the tablets in Doom 2016 pretty much tell you what this game is going to be about. So why I'm showing you the old games, more specifically Doom 64 right now, um, is because I believe, again, they've made no official connections. But the ending of Doom 64 kind of ties in line with what uh, Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal followed with. So it's not necessarily immediately after uh, Doom 1 into Doom 2 because Doom Eternal kind of felt like Hell on Earth just redone and Doom 2016 kind of felt like Doom 1 done over, you know, with a guy that in, in Samuel hated. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to apply the old stories to... to Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal ending with Doom 64 because once you beat Doom 64 which uh what is her name the brood mother whatever the actual final boss you get a choice 
as the Doom Slayer, well, you don't get the choice, but the Doom Slayer or Doom Guy gets a choice, and he chooses to live in hell and fight demons for eternity. Well, why does that sound familiar? So throughout Doom Eternal, we get little peeks as to how uh, the Doom Slayer got his power. You know, he was chosen, he was fighting in the Gladiator Arena, and then... You know, some shady shit happened where it totally looked like Samuel Hayden went and <laughs> Samuel Hayden went and gave him his powers behind everybody's back. But it kind of goes in line with what happened at the end of uh, Doom 64, as I just said. So even if the games aren't officially canon to each other, it's easy to say. He, he goes, I just I'm going to I'm going to fight demons, whatever. That's what I'm going to do. I want to go to hell and fucking obliterate evil for eternity. And then boom. You could go right where Dark Ages picks up. Basically where we're going to give you your powers. Go eradicate these motherfuckers. And then and then I assume it's going to end when he's trapped in the tomb. But then again, Microsoft owns the property now. And Doom will print money as long as it's taken care of. So they could easily split the Dark Ages into two games. And then have them encased in the tomb where Olivia Pierce ends up waking them up. So I'm extremely hopeful for Dark Ages. Uh... Doom 3, I know I talked about and then cut out, is because the single player is just separate. That is a horror game, through and through. And I do enjoy it, but as far as what goes on in the stories, I just take that aside. Kind of like I used to do with Doom 64, um, which I've grown a large appreciation for since Doom 2018 came out, uh, 2016 came out, and especially with Doom Eternal, because a lot of the lore does carry over if you want to put it there. So as far as I go with somebody who got the shareware disc first of, of Doom, I'm going to go ahead and just say I'm very excited. I can't wait to fight the hordes with the hell weapons instead of all the more modernized weapons. I can't wait to see the original Predator suit. Like, I'm excited. How excited are you guys? Thank you for watching. Fuck yes. Dark Ages is coming. Doom!